All right, y'all. <clears throat> Welcome back to Correctional Officer Stories with Steve. As always, I'm your host. Thanks for tuning in on this glorious Wednesday morning. Uh, as we're headed into the new year here, hopefully uh, everybody has some uh, New Year's resolutions or whatever you call them. I don't usually make one because I don't really believe in them, to be honest. And when I do, I don't keep them. I try to. But it's always, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to eat right, I'm going to stop drinking, quit it. People, I think the average New Year's resolution lasts for about 10 days and then people just say, F it, I'm done with it. Anyway, all my goon squad, thanks for checking in. I know you, uh, you're watching, I appreciate you guys. <laughs> But I wanted to talk to you about um, something I heard on the <clears throat> news last night. And it's kind of ironic because I've been talking about fentanyl quite a bit. And um, DEA in Arizona are talking about they seized like, I don't know, 120 pounds of pure. It's called para flu fluoro fentanyl. Fluoro fentanyl. So para fluoro fentanyl or PFF is the abbreviation. Um, it's some new concoction they, that they put in fentanyl. It's pure synthetic opiate just like fentanyl is. And um, here we go. Just another combination of deadly ass fentanyl. You know, how many, how many different freaking brands are we going to have or mixtures or compounds or whatever you want to call them. And I'm sure this has been around for a while. They just decided to talk to uh, talk about it because every once in a while, the government has to show that we've seized some fentanyl, right? I don't know. That's just my opinion. We got, we got to show that we're working towards the war on drugs. Really, it's the war on fentanyl because it's just taken over. New York is the capital of the world for fentanyl seizures. It comes in like mad. And fentanyl is 50 to 100 times more powerful than heroin and morphine. Just think about that. Heroin is basically dirty ass, nasty ass morphine or I, I don't even know. It's really, it's really fentanyl now. As I said yesterday in my video, everything you touch has fentanyl in it whether it's marijuana that you're getting from a dispensary, they're finding a lot of times they're putting a little dust of fentanyl in that marijuana because it gives you a sentence, uh, a heightened sense of, of stoned, I guess. I don't, I don't know what it does, but it's in everything folks. So before you do something, just think about, do you want to die or do you want to continue to live? And you know, I don't, I don't know. I know, I know a lot of people that use medical marijuana. Now that it's going to become legal to buy in Arizona, you don't have to have a medical card. You can buy up to, I don't know. I think you can have up to like two ounces on you and then you can have like five to seven plants. I, I don't know. I don't pay attention. Um, it's not something that I utilize, not, nor can I in the business that I'm in, nor, nor would I. It just, you know, obviously I've, I tried it like once or twice back in the day. I don't like to feel paranoid. I don't like that feeling. And I know that's the common thing that people say, but it made me paranoid and I don't like it. I'll tell you that right now. I don't like it. Anyway, I feel like I've been talking about fentanyl a lot. It's been on my mind. I told you why it's been on my mind. And then boom, I'm watching the six o'clock news and here we go. Para. Fluoro, fluoro fentanyl, and I'm probably saying it wrong, just PFF, look that up. PFF fentanyl, and um, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's been around for a long time, people, probably, I, I would imagine. Um, I could look here, but I just don't get it. And, and I mean, I do get it. Don't, don't, don't listen to that. I do get it, but I don't. I don't know why 
we can't stop some of this stuff. You know what I mean? It. I don't know what it would take to just stop it. You know, I, I don't know. I really don't. You know, this country has gone in such a freaking wrong way that we could enact martial law. And you know what? I've been always, I've always laughed at people that said that. You know, I'd be, I'd do, I would just be like, you're crazy, man. Just another anti-government motherfucker, right? But now I'm one of those guys that said, you know, that, that could happen. You could have the military roam in the streets. And remember that saying, when the street lights come on, you better get your ass inside. Guess what? That could come. <laughs> Only it'd be the military. And, then, and remember, a lot of the military now is um, immature, young-minded kids that just didn't have a, a great home growing up and they just decided to go into the military. And it's probably always been like that. But I feel like back in the day, in my era, there was a little bit more responsibility instilled in you. Now you've got these 17, 18, I think you can enlist at 17. And then you, when you, once you turn 18, you're at boot camp. And, um, is that what you want? You want a bunch of 18 year olds telling you to basically lock down like you're in prison? I don't, I don't want them telling me what to do. Telling me when I can go to the store, how much I can buy at the store. Think about it, people. Just think about it. I know I'm probably going to get some hate from that, but I don't know. That's just, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just throwing it out there. But fentanyl, 50 to 100 times more powerful than heroin and, and morphine. As I said in a, in a previous video, my dad uh, was prescribed 100 milligram MS cottons three times daily. It's a little gray pill, and that is pure morphine. We didn't give him three. He would take one to one and a half. And this was towards the end of his bid on life, on his life, before he, um, before he took his last breath. You know, we ended up putting him on hospice, and all they do is fill you full of a dropper, fill your mouth full of a dropper of this pink or purple liquid that's liquid morphine. It's not like you're swallowing it. It's supposed to uh, absorb into your mouth. And I remember when my dad passed, it was a little bit gory, but when he passed, I opened his mouth and he, it was just full of nasty ass coagulated freaking morphine that they were just dumping into him. You know, because I would tell him, listen, when I'm not here, don't, I don't want him that. He's, I don't want him on that. You know what I mean? He's in a coma. I really don't believe he's going through any pain. And I would tell him, sorry, Pops, but they're, you're not, you're, they're just dumping you full of this. You're not di ingesting it. You're just sitting in your mouth. It's ridiculous. All you hospice nurses out there and doctors, comment if you're watching this and tell me that I'm wrong. I mean, I, I know a lot about it. I mean, he was on hospice twice. He, was, he came out to the house. We had to put him in a facility at the end. And trust me, I appreciate everything hospice does. They are excellent. I'm speaking for Hospice of the Valley here in Arizona. I haven't used anybody else, but they've always treated us excellent. The nurses were excellent. Um, the doctors you don't really see. I saw a couple at the in, intake facility, um, but they don't, nobody ever came. On the phone, the pharmacy delivers right to your house um, and they deliver pure, pure opiates. I mean, they were delivering this, they were, they were delivering a dropper full of uh, morphine and um, the MS cotton pills on top of like Xanax and all kinds of other shit. It's almost like they, they hurry your death up. You know what I mean? But as a matter of fact, I still have a dr that dropper and it's all old and nasty now, but maybe maybe someday I'll show it. I don't know if YouTube would, would like that or not. Maybe not, but I, I might show that one day. I'll show, I'll show you what it looks like for those of you that haven't seen it. Um, and I, I bet you if I showed it to somebody that was actively using, they would figure out a way to use it. And I hate to say that and I hate to be negative, but it's just the truth. Um, anyway, but fentanyl people, 50 to 100 times more powerful. Heroin and morphine are already powerful enough. 50 times? It's a death wish. It's a death wish, man. Get off of it.
Think about somebody other than yourself. And I know that's, that's selfish of me to say, but you have family and friends and people that care about you. Think about that and think about the heartache that we all go through when we lose you, especially if you're young and you've got your whole life ahead of you and you freaking take an acute dose of fentanyl because you decided to smoke a joint that was laced with fentanyl and you didn't know it and then boom! Family gets a knock on the door to tell you that uh, so-and-so is no longer with us. You don't want that knock. I'm telling you. You don't want that knock. It's gonna put your, it's gonna put you in a spin and then you may become addicted to something. I don't know, but I know this is kind of a negative way to start the day, but it's just, it's weighing heavy on my mind, people. And then, like I said, it's on the news. <clears throat> I, I, I honestly haven't seen it on the news for quite a while until yesterday. Bing! Another light bulb turned on in my head. So I don't know. Um, but anyway, on a positive note, sounds like the $600 stimulus check started to go out last night. Uh, my wife called me this morning and said a friend of hers, two friends of hers got like, got it on this debit card. I don't know. So if you, if you, um, if you folks qualify for the stimulus and you have direct deposit, whether it may be that card or you have your direct deposit linked to your checking account, you'll, you'll probably get it soon. They said it may take up to two months to get all the dispersed payments out. They also stated that uh, checks will start being mailed out on this today, as a matter of fact, Wednesday. So um, that's that's a positive note. Uh, Six hundred bucks per person, slap in the face. Obviously, there's a there's a cap to the amount you can make. So I don't know. Um, I just I pay attention to the. The other part of that stimulus bill, like business, uh, the PPE and things like that. And like I said in a previous video, I watched a YouTuber named It's Jimmy that has the same freaking thumbnail and freaking a bunch of clickbaity ass titles. And he's just profiting off stimulus conversations. I, I guess props to him, right? I, I hammered him. I, I hammered him in a previous video. But it just makes me angry when people profit off something and they're giving half-assed factual news and then m mainly fluff to get people to watch, right? And I guess that's the world of, that's how, that's how it works, right? You just, people just forgot what integrity means. You know what I mean? They don't have a clue what integrity, especially, especially some of these young bucks that you're watching. If you're watching me, Look up integrity and try to follow the definition of that. You know what I mean? It sounds like, it seems like this world has lost integrity. Everybody lies just to lie. You know what I mean? About dumb shit. Just stupid. You know what I mean? Hey, are your keys in your pocket? No, I don't know what I did with them. Keys are in your pocket. Like dumb shit like that. You know what I mean? What the hell would you lie about that for? I don't know either. Pathological liars. There's a ton of them in the world. So look up the definition of integrity. You know what I mean? Honesty. It's all you have, folks. Your word is all you have. Trust me. I've been through it. I know it. It's just all you have. You know what I mean? So try to follow it. Try to be, try to be honest. Especially in your professional career and your personal life. Because it'll just catch up to you and knock you down just like an addiction. Because lying is maybe an addiction too. I don't know. I'd have to ask my sister. She's a psychologist. But might be on the phone for a while. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Sorry I rambled. All my goons, I appreciate you as always. I will throw some corrections content out there soon, like I said. Um, I got to get going to my office here. And then um, we're going to go to Sedona tomorrow. I'm going to work... Uh, Probably till about 11. And then my uh, my manager said, yeah, you can cut out. New Year, we go every year. It's New Year's Eve. COVID, but there ain't nobody going to be up there. And it's just my wife and I. So we're going to enjoy the new year. Bring it in. And uh, hope that 2021 is 
Better than 2020. I think we say that every year. Hopefully this year is better than last year. Hopefully this year is better than last year. And it just progressively gets worse. Progressively gets worse. Progressively gets worse. Once we hit that millennium in 2000, I, did we just go downhill? Who knows? Anyway, y'all, have a good day. Peace out.